So I just want to uh, share a few things in my life to kind of show you what walking the Spirit is like for me. So I might give you an idea what it'll be like for you. Every day I pray, God, who do you want me to encourage and how do you want me to do it? When someone hurts me, I ask God, okay, how do you want me to respond to this? I pray for people who need prayer. I interpret dreams. I have visions. I receive and give prophetic words. I was once asked by a teacher of a Catholic catechism class. She wanted me to teach about Pentecost. So I said, okay. Afterwards, she was talking to me and she had told me that she was trying to have a baby but could not have one. So I asked her, can I pray for you? She said, sure. Less than a month later, she called me and she was pregnant. And that caused many people to come to the church. I told you all of these things, not because I'm spiritual. If you knew me, you know I'm not spiritual. I'm just obedient to the nudge. See, some of us expect God to, to uh, come to us like Paul, Saul. Big light, big voice, knock you off your horse. Well, maybe you don't think God will knock you off your horse, but you think it's going to be big. Oh, you're going to tremble, and there's going to be confirmation after confirmation. Delete. Just a nudge. Just a whisper. Do you know why God whispers to you? Because when you whisper, someone has to lean in to hear you. And God whispers. 